All right, so I'm very excited to launch our three-in-one kit. This is version 2.0. Uh, the first version I made was in 2017, and I made some improvement um, from the previous version, as you can see. Um, so basically, this kit helped us to eliminate multiple drilling sequence. At the same time, it helps us to position our implant um, osteotomy exactly on the center of a crown and also it has a vertical stop as well so it will it gives us horizontal mesial distal dimension as well as vertical stop so this is 7.0 8.5 10 millimeter 11.5 and 13 millimeter length i also have this caliper that i like to use for measuring our gingiva um, incision design and I will talk about that in detail later on and I like to discuss how do we use this kit uh, if you are using any implant system that you like to choose let's just say that you want to place 4.0 by 10 millimeter length implant then how do you use this uh, implant system? If you are using 4.0 in the mandibular ridge, I recommend to use 3.3 millimeter. So basically you subtract 0.5 to 0.7 millimeter, uh, depending on the bone quality. And let's say, you, let's say that you want to use 4.0 by 10. S if you want to place 10 millimeter length implant on a molar side, you will use this on a bicuspid side you will use this so for the molar side this is the actual measurement therefore instead of choosing this stopper which only gives us exactly 10 millimeter you want to use 11.5 millimeter vertical stopper because every implant needs to be needs to be drilled a little bit more deeper. Um, so unlike other drills, what I have written here is the exact dimension. So if you want to place 10 millimeter implant, you have to go a millimeter and a half deeper, uh, especially when you're placing bone level implant. Otherwise, your implant will not sit all the way down. Unique thing about this drill is that you don't have to do sequential osteotomy you just jump right into 3.3 millimeter diameter and you will be able to place 4.0 implant if it's a maxilla you could just place the implant however in the mandibular ridge because the bone is more cortical in nature you will need to use your final drill uh, made by your whatever um, manufacturer you're using uh, therefore, I will pick out the final drill for that implant system and then I will place the implant. So this is for molar implants. If you want to make a bicuspid implant for 4.0 by 10, I will pick this 3.3 millimeter drill by 11.5. And if you are doing multiple implants after this drill, you will use this to help you position in multiple uh, implant scenario uh, to be able to measure the distance mesial distally. If you are using 5.0 implant for maxillary, I would recommend 4.1 millimeter diameter. Let's say 5 point by 10 millimeter implant, you will select this. If you are using 5.0 by 8.5 millimeter implant then you will use this but let's say that you're placing 5.0 by 11.5 then i recommend to choose the 13 millimeter length implant now in the ma mandible the bone is denser so if you want to place 5.0 implant in the mandibular i would choose 4.5 millimeter implant. How about 3.8 
millimeter implant in the mandible. I will use 3.3 in the mandibular with 11.5 for 10 millimeter length. If you are placing exactly same dimension but in the bicuspid region, then you would choose bicuspid diameter to help you position. So depending on the bone quality and whether you are dealing with maxillary mandibular, um, you can subtract 0.5 millimeter or 0.7 millimeter uh, depending on the bone quality. We do have the Linderman drill. If you are a beginner and you don't want to make the osteotomy in one shot, you can also do sequential osteotomy, which is okay. It will take longer time um, and it will help you uh, uh, take x-ray in between so that uh, you can really check your angulation intraorally. And that is, that, that, that is recommended for the uh, beginner uh, people and you basically use the same thing. Um, you can use the 7.0 to mark. Basically, you're just going about 7 millimeter in depth. And after that, you can go on to 2.8. Then put the indicator, take an x-ray, make sure your location, your angulation is appropriate. And then you could go on to next set of drill. But now you can go to your depth. So not if you want to go into sequ sequential diameter, I recommend you to uh, take a baby step in terms of the length as well uh, so that you can um, make less mistake. But with enough experience, I go to the full length at uh, one single osteotomy technique so that we can save time for our patients. If you want to do GBR and you want to collect lots of bone, this is a very, very nice way to uh, make a whole bunch of uh, decortication so that we can collect the bone at the same time. We can um, do, we can collect the bone. Thank you very much. I hope that you enjoy my uh, new 2.0 um, 3-in-1 kit which collects the bone and makes a single step osteotomy and it helps you position your implant exactly on the center of your clinical crown.